spicy, spicy songbirds. Okay, so it was very common for preachers when they gave the congregation the talk. A be monogamous, dang it. They would bring up the songbird, the beautiful, sweet songbird, monogamous for life. And they picked a hilariously bad example. Welcome to part five of Man Science, where we expose the ridiculous things that we still believe today based off of the shoddy, sloppy science done by dudes. So Darwin was all about the monogamous female. Men should get all they can get, and women should wait for their prince to come and just never go anywhere else. And he knew that from observing nature, right? Like, that's what Darwin did. And the truth is, is that he would see males not be monogamous and he's like boys will be boys and then he would run into evidence over and over and over of females not being monogamous and he would either call it a mistake or some weird thing she did because of hormones again with the hormones back to our spicy songbirds so the ladies are socially monogamous they'll pick a nice house husband who will take care of the kids do things around the nest and then she will go out daily while he's gone and have spicy times with so many other birds with more riz but like 70 percent of her eggs have nothing to do with her house husband lady lions will sneak away from their dudes up to 40 times a day with other dudes bonobo monkey ladies they run their matriarchies and they're doing stuff all day long with dudes and not dudes antelopes hyenas dolphins they're getting it on with everyone and here's a really tough thing for man science to accept there's a lot of real science to show that they do it because they like it and it feels good remember that you can find the books referenced in our series and other series at the link where we've got a handy list for you so remember Next time purity culture has got you down that it's just not natural, 